Hi, this is Marty and welcome back for another video. If you've never heard of it, it's called the uh, Narcissist Flow Chart. And basically what it does is it basically shows a flow chart of the, human, of the, of the mind of a narcissist as it's encountering confrontation, challenging, or anything. But have you ever heard of the child versus the narcissist flow chart? You see, everyone thinks that narcissists are this, that, these bad, ugly, evil individuals, okay? Well, actually what it is, is it's the empaths that are all saying that. And for lack of a better word, all those empaths who think they have all those warm, fuzzy emotions and think they have so much feeling for the other world, they actually have none because the true definition of empathy is to be able to is the ability to be able to handle and or know their own emotions first. So the true definition of empathy is understanding of your own emotions and feelings, which brings me to the point of, you see, the impasse will say narcissist is evil and blah, 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 was created and oh, they're so evil and they ruin everything. And well, I've done videos on it. Look back and I'll, 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 end some, I'll put some at the end of the meeting, but I'm trying to talk fast so my videos aren't so long. So people will actually fucking watch them and learn something, seriously. Okay, so this is the child versus the narcissist, and what I'm gonna prove is, is that what narcissists are is that they're not evil at all. Basically what is, they're individuals who were traumatized and or abused in their life, and they are suffering from post-trauma sensory emotions and narcissism and or up unto the highest levels, not malignant, but to some very high levels. It's basically showing you how abused and traumatized these individuals are, and they're basically doing what their subconscious and their, their inner self wants to do. And basically, they're not at fault. They're always in fight or flight. And you know what, God damn it, all you empaths, start showing that empathy. Learn about yourself so that you can show some empathy toward these individuals, because then you could make one or two choices. One, to walk the fuck away, or two, know how to deal with them in a really proper way. Okay, I'm gonna help you here. Trust me. This is for the impasse, not for the narcissist. Okay, or the individuals who suffer from post-trauma sensory emotions, and they are manifesting themselves in the form of this. So we have the child versus the narcissist. So, in the green, in the in the in the pink is what happens when the yeses or nos filter back in to create this cycle. The blue is basically the cycle. So let allow me to introduce the child versus narcissist flow chart. Happy, child and narcissist, happy. Confrontation, what does the child do? Lies, deflects, does everything that it can so that it can't get caught. What does the narcissist do? It lies, it blames, it shames everyone else except taking the responsibility of the confrontation, of the challenge, just like a child. Now, when the child lies and blames and does everything else, does it work? Well, normally it does work. It does work until they are caught. So, yes, it worked. Now I'm happy. Until the parent goes and asks the brother, talks to the school or talks to an adult that basically says, no, this is actually what happened to your child. And basically, what does the parent do? Comes back to the child and says, Boom, you did this. What does the child do? Goes back into this, deflect, lie, and mad. Well, guess what? At a certain point, the child is caught in the back of a corner and cannot move, and it knows it. And guess what? It's being controlled, and it knows it's busted. So basically, what did it do? It caves in, goes into a corner, cries, and takes the punishment. Well, as an adult, you can fight. You can do all things. You can commit murder if you want to, and you can get out of it. So what does an adult grown person do that the child couldn't do? It continues that and waits till it works. So basically, did it work? It worked, yes, boom, back to happy. Well, what happens next? It doesn't always work. So when it doesn't work, no, what does the child do? Goes back into deflecting, goes back into baby, goes back into victim mode, goes back into gaslighting, and all children can gaslight. You just gotta wait for it. It's not as insidious as adults are insidious. It's more insidious than the child, and with the narcissist, it's straight at you. And that's why it hurts so much, and that's why it's so devastating. With a child, it's insidious, it's sneaky, you don't really get it. And you don't think the child is able to do that, but yes, they are, because that's what the human mind wants to do when it's being traumatized and abused, period, end of story. And that's where it's learned. Now, we expect everybody to be honest and awesome and honest, and we expect narcissists to be the same and or people that have been traumatized not act in these ways, but guess what? It's all the inner child, it's all the inner self knows how to do, which is to be a baby, be a victim, to gaslight, and do exactly what it was trained to do by nature. And that's what post-trauma sensory emotions are all about. A disconnect of the subconscious inner feelings from the conscious mind. I talk about it in other videos, so back to the flow chart. So basically what happens is, second time around, 
Confront him again, second time around. Deflect, baby, victim, gaslighting, did it work? Yes, it did. Boom, back to happiness. No, it did not work. Direct, deflect, blame, shame someone else, gaslight, put it back on the person because a child can't put it back on the adult. You know what would happen there? That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna get smacked in the face like I did from the age of seven to 14, thus perpetuating the whole problem in and of itself with trauma and abuse. So, did it work? No, it did not. Did not work again. So guess what? Goes back to the top and you have your cycle that will continue in infinity, infinity. What's the solution? It's easy. Empaths. You need to go find your inner self, find the true meaning of empathy, empathy, and fix yourself first. Instead of being the victim, because you are being the victim. And how are you being the victim? By calling this individual who is basically acting on pure trauma and abuse, fight or flight mode all the time, and make a decision to either pack your stuff and leave, or treat this individual how they deserve to be treated. They were traumatized, and they were abused. Decide whether or not you want to be the one to help them or not. But I give you this fair warning. If you think that's going to happen, and the solution is going to come to you, and you are going to be able to heal this person who's acting like a child overnight, it is not going to happen. It is going to take five years of your life, a decade, 20 years of your life, period, end of story. It's the truth. You already know I'm right because you're already figuring it out. That's why you're watching this video. This is Marty. Oh, and narcissist? or those, you know, you're being called one or whatever, I have something to say to you too, and this is behalf on the impasse. Stop being an asshole. Stop being an asshole. You see this person over here, this child? That's what's screaming out inside of you, and you will never be happy, because you will do this until you take your last breath. And I don't think that's the life you want to live. At least, that's not the life I wanted to live when I was doing this. Now I take full responsibility from the get. And I don't put people through this bullshit anymore. Want to live happier? Go back, solve what's going on in here. And I guarantee and promise on my life that all of this will stop. Like that. It takes hard work. Oh, there's videos I've done on that too, but they're long. So if you don't get past the first five seconds of it, choice is yours. This is Marty, and we'll see you in the next video.